Microsoft Virtual Desktops, also known as Task View, is an option in Windows 10 that allows you to create an unlimited number of desktops and to have different programs running in each. Virtual desktops offer a convenient way to stay organized. An example of this would be to have a virtual desktop for work, another for your home applications, and perhaps a third for multimedia. There is an offering from Microsoft called Windows Virtual Desktop, which is a cloud solution for running Windows 10. But this video is not dealing with that particular item. Task View or Virtual Desktops is used with this icon next to your Start menu on the bottom left-hand corner. If you don't see that icon there, right-click on your taskbar here, and the option up here says Show Task View button. Click on that to make sure there's a check mark on it, then you should see that option at the bottom. Now, when it comes to virtual desktops, what's the purpose or why would you want to use it? Your typical user would have multiple applications open at any given point in time. So let's open a number of applications on this computer. Okay, now that we've got several open, as you can see, generally switching between them can get somewhat confusing. So if we click on this bo button called Task View at the bottom here, all the open applications will show up on our screen. At the top here, you have New Desktop. When we click on that, we can see we can name the desktops as well. So my first one I've named Office. The second one, let's name that Home. And the third one, add a third one here, and we'll call that one Multimedia. Alrighty, now to move your applications between these virtual desktops, it's a simple matter of click on, left click on it with your mouse and drag it into the virtual desktop that you want it on. So if we have these two browsers, we'll drag those into both of them into Home, and we'll just leave the Explorer in the Office one. As you can see now, we have Explorer on our first desktop, and if we click on this bottom here, we click on the Home one. We have our two browsers. If we click on it again and go into Multimedia, there we have our Multimedia. Now, there is a downside to this, is that Microsoft so far doesn't give us the option of setting up a different background for each of these virtual desktops. There are third-party applications, but as always, I tend to want to stay away from those because there are some adverse effects to some of the applications that are out there. And hopefully, in a future release of Windows 10, Microsoft is going to include that option. So as you can see, moving applications between these virtual desktops is really, really easy to do. And as soon as you close off a particular desktop, say for example, you want to close off multimedia, you click on the X at the top here, and any open applications from that will immediately drop down to the virtual desktop immediately prior. So in this case, anything that was on the multimedia desktop will drop down into the home desktop. As you can see, there's our media player. There are keyboard shortcuts to using all of this as well. If you use the Windows key and the Tab key, there you can see it brings up the same option as if we just clicked on the Task View at the bottom. That's the main one that most people would use. Now, if you use Alt-Tab, it brings up all the applications that are open across your windows, and you can switch back and forth between them. Now, here's something to keep in mind. If we go into our system settings, which you can click on Start Settings, or the alternate way to bring up Windows Settings is to click on the Windows key and press the I key, which brings up the same thing. When you click on System on the left-hand side over here, then we click on Multitasking. If we scroll down, there's two options at the bottom here that are associated with virtual desktops. One is, on the taskbar, show all windows that are open on all desktops. In other words, what this is, is you see at the bottom here, all of the windows that are open across all virtual desktops are listed. If we change this to only the desktop that I'm using, you'll notice immediately all the applications that are open on our home virtual desktop don't appear. And if we switch this to our home virtual desktop, there they are, but we don't see the open apps on our business virtual desktop. So that's what that option is. Generally speaking, most people would choose all desktops because then you can simply click on this app and it would immediately take you to that virtual desktop without having to first click on this and switch back and forth. So that's a one option that a lot of people tend to leave on all desktops. Same thing with the Alt tab. If you press Alt tab, you can see all open apps show up in a long line on the list here. If we change that to only the desktop I'm using, as you can see, only the apps that are open on this particular virtual desktop will show up. So again, most people would choose all desktops in that particular instance. Now, there is another 
option that a lot of people use in terms of keyboard shortcuts. One is, is if you press the Windows key and the Control key, and say we have this particular application highlighted, we can Windows key, Control key, right arrow, will automatically move us to the second desktop or the third or the fourth, and there are an unlimited number. Now this particular Control key, Windows right and left arrow only moves between the desktops. You can actually move your apps between them as well, but most people want to keep their apps on the same desktop. And there's another option here that I want to show you while I'm thinking of that. Click on new virtual desktops and say you right click on this particular open app. You have snap to the left, snap to the right, which I dealt with in my previous video, which will take up half of the screen on the left hand side or the right hand side. There is also this option here that says move to and any of the virtual desktops that you have listed up top here will become an option. So you can right click and move it, but I find dragging is way easier anyway. Now here's an option that you might want to consider. Show this window on all desktops. So in other words, if you have 20 or 30 virtual desktops and you want the Windows Explorer to show on all of them, if you notice I selected that option, now if we go into the home screen, there is, I'm just gonna close these apps down or minimize them. There you can see we have Windows Explorer open on that screen and on our first screen. So if we right click on this again and uncheck that, you'll see on the home screen here, suddenly that app no longer shows up. Now the next option to look at when you right click on is show windows from this app on all desktops. And what that basically is, is if, we're, if we open this up and we right click and say open in a new window. So that's a new window from the original app. By default, this will not show up on all windows. But if we check that option off that says show this window or show windows from this app on all desktops, you can see right away on our home screen that sh those windows showed up. So that's another option that you might want to consider if it's a particular app that you want to cross all of your screens, such as say a music player or your, a weather app that you have on the screen or anything like that. If you wanted to cross all desktops, that's how you would do it. So as you can see, virtual desktops are certainly one way that you can use your computer to organize it a little bit better and to get better performance out of your computer. Hopefully from this video, you have seen how virtual desktops can certainly enhance your computing experience. If this has been of benefit to you, please take a second just to give us a thumbs up at the bottom, leave a comment if you have anything to comment on. So until next time, folks, take care and have yourselves a truly fantastic day. Bye now.